Hey, howdy y'all. Let's get busy making some browned butter, bourbon pecan, chocolate chunk cookies. And welcome to Whiskey Woman Whisks. Okay, there are quite a few steps to these cookies, but it is totally worth it and easy to follow. Now I've already put um, about two tablespoons of butter in a little skillet. And now we've got to get one and a half cups of pecans chopped up really good. And then we're going to pop those in that skillet with butter and toast them up a bit. Nice and toasty. Okay, we're going to put those aside to cool. Okay, so now I need to brown some butter. Two sticks. And we're going to do that kind of on a medium high. We'll have to stir this pretty constantly. We want to brown it. We don't want to burn it. So it'll take um, three or four minutes. Let's get to browning some butter. Okay, it's going to get a little foamy. And then it's going to start to brown as you can see these bits and then you're going to want to take that off the heat okay. let's get that sorry i shipped on from the other end huh <laughs> very right-handed okay i just want to make sure i get all of the little Round bits. That's the good stuff. Okay, let me show you. See how it's browned? Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge, let it get cooled down real good. And also, y'all, I've set aside some whole pecans. Um, you don't want to toast these because they're going to kind of be on top and they're going to get toasted while they're in the oven baking the cookies. So just get those set aside. Um, 24, we should get about that many cookies. So. Okay, y'all, be sure you put a towel down. I let mine sit here for a few minutes, about five minutes, but put a towel down because this is extremely hot and we don't want to break the glass in our refrigerator. It's tempered, but still, I'm not chancing it. Okay, you um, just want to be able to put your finger in the butter and make a dent um, a little better than room temperature. Mine went a little longer, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that out of this bowl and into my mixer bowl. Let that come a little bit closer to room temperature before I get to mixing all of that up. Okay, for our brown butter, bourbon, pecan, chocolate chunk cookies, let's get our dry ingredients whisked up. First, we need two and one third cups of on purpose flour. teaspoon of baking soda, baking soda, one teaspoon. Okay, so let's just whisk up these dry ingredients together and then sift that aside and we're going to get busy on our butter sugar mixture. Okay, so let's move that butter just a bit get it smooth. Sugar. 
it will take just a few minutes you'll start to see it come together and get light and fluffy you might have to stop your mixer and scrape down your sides I always have to do that and then start it back up until it gets light and fluffy like you're seeing here and now it's time to start adding in our eggs I have two room temperature eggs I'm just going to drop one in and then let that kind of mix in a bit before I drop in the second one. Okay, so once I get those eggs mixed in pretty good, I'm then going to add in two and a half to three tablespoons of bourbon vanilla, which I have homemade. If you don't have a bourbon vanilla, then just use two teaspoons of vanilla extract with two tablespoons of bourbon and get that mixed in. Okay, so that's looking about like I need it to be. Let me get this whisk off of here. Okay, get you a pretty sturdy spatula or spoon. We're going to get those dry ingredients that we set aside earlier, fold it into this creamed sugar, vanilla, bourbon, butter goodness. Okay, so we don't want to over mix it. You just want to bring all of those ingredients together just until the flour is no longer separate and then we're going to get our pecans and chocolate those chopped up pecans that we had chopped up and then browned in butter I'm also going to add in 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate I've used the chunks so I've chopped it up so we're going to get all of that folded into our batter Now normally I would go ahead and put my chocolate and my pecans and blend them together, but every time I make anything chocolate chip cookie wise, my one of my boys, he's like, Mom, make me some without pecans. So, you know, I had to do it this time. So I've mixed in my chocolate and I'm setting some aside to bake him some cookies without the pecans. And then I'm going to add these pecans in to finish up the batter for the rest of the cookies. Okay, so I'm going to put this dough in the fridge for a couple of hours. Okay, y'all. It got kind of late last night. And I'm going to put the batter together for the browned butter, bourbon, pecan, chocolate, chip, chunky cookies. Anyway, <laughs> they're still a little, they need to be colder because we do have to roll them in a ball in, our, in your hand. So I just pop those in the fridge, covered them up and finish up dinner and clean up the kitchen. So today we're gonna get those in the oven, finish those up, let's get to it. So you wanna make these big, so I'm using that big faux barge from Pampered Chef Scoop. And you just kinda make a ball with it. And I use my stone. Make sure you leave plenty of room in between. Okay, it's been in the fridge and it's still kinda hard. I want it to be cold so I can roll them up and get them put together before they get too soft. Anyway, make you some balls. I think this is one of them cookie doughs you could just eat because mm, they smell so good. Lordy, lordy. I need a man in here with some muscles. I have to get my son in here. <laughs> He'd probably eat it before we could cook it. So, anyway, let's get some balls rolled out. And I will just show you these few right here. So, we want to pop a pecan, just enough to get it in there. But you do want this to stay a ball. You don't want to smash it flat because they're going to spread plenty anyway. 
but just push enough just to get that pecan to stay on there. I've got my hub oven has been heating up to 375, so we're gonna get this first batch in the oven. Okay, y'all, here we go. Browned butter, bourbon, chocolate, pecan, cookies. Wow, that's a mouthful. If you want your cookies to spread out a little bit further than what these did, you'll just need to start with your dough being a little bit softer than I started with mine. And you can also drop your temperature down to 350 or somewhere there in between. That will also help those spread out a little bit. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope you give these cookies a try. Y'all have a good one.